Hello everybody and welcome back to Coldover, where I think I'm actually going to make a slight deviation from the design of Academiopolis, which was also designed in Blocks and Metablocks, which we're going to continue doing. But this time, I think I'm not going to elevate the highways, except for when I have to. So we're going to keep them on the ground most of the time. However, for right now, we do definitely need to get ourselves some uh, additional blocks going this way. For right now, I think I'm just going to do something along the lines of this. Hmm, that's awkward. What did I mess up here? Did I mess up this one? It's only 360. I messed up this, I think. This might be too long. Let's see. Hmm. Something's not quite right. So what did I break? That's correct. That's correct. That's correct. So is it this is incorrect? I mean, this is supposed to be a 960, right? Yeah, this is actually wrong. Why did I make this an 1160? Well, it's because this isn't supposed to be a 960 at all. It's because this is supposed to be a 1200. It's still wrong. And we're actually going to have to take some of this out and redo this. Because it needs to be correct. So put that there. And then we will take this out a little bit here and put this in right here. And this connects here, here. This section of road needs to be removed. Now we're out of money. <laughs> well, that's awkward. That's real awkward. So there's no way to get to the commercial area now. We're going to have to do something about that. But we're going to need to wait for a little bit of money to come in. For right now, let's just go ahead and zone this light residential. We do have water coverage over there, although it's not pretty. We'll need to fix that. And we'll connect this up with power. Like that. Temporarily. This is going to get taken out when the road gets put in. So we're going to have to keep that in mind, but I think the next road that we put in is this right here. Just so that this is connected back up. Come on, we're losing our commercial. Just a little bit more money. There. Now it's connected in. Okay. So we're going to have to redo that area, but that's fine. These are, of course, both going to be residential meta blocks here. And this is going to be a commercial meta block over here. Yeah, I know about that. That's fine. Oh, uh, yeah, because we lost those. We're going to have to do that for now, temporarily. Excellent. So we want a little more industrial. This area will need to be overhauled. To be fair, let's go ahead and connect our one-way roads, our highway stand-ins over here. Once we have the money, which we still don't have, I'm going to have to take it up to speed three just so that we get money. Okay, and then we bring this this way as soon as we have the money. There we go. Okay. Okay. Then the question is, what about these connecting roads? What do we do with those? Do we send them underground? Hmm. I mean, that's pretty much the reason why they w the previous highways were elevated, right? But we won't have to deal with pillar issues like this. We could just have them intersect in. We have a sewage issue. 
because we lost our power connection to the dumping station. Okay, we'll just go ahead and do that. Perfect. That should fix that issue. Now, as far as this issue here goes, I'm actually going to rezone this meta block. And we're going to make this into a commercial buffer zone. Like this. And then we'll make this up here be full-on residential for now. And we'll need to connect this over here, although these are incorrectly located. So basically, this entire area needs to go. Okay. We can rebuild our commerce over here. Excellent. So now that we have that plan relatively in place, we should bring this road all the way over here once we have the money. Which uh, may or may not be anytime soon. We'll bring this down and then 1200 over. That's fine. You know. We can have those just not be highways. We're giving up a fair amount of real estate to these roads that we don't actually need these side roads here. I could completely redesign the meta block. It would still be the same overall concept. But it would end up being drastically different in practice. And potentially a lot more space efficient. So what am I thinking right now? In terms of it. So it would still be the same exact size, right? It would still be essentially five blocks. So, uh would be this would be 400 so then this would come down like this and then one right here as well right there so it would be five blocks and this is a sixth block technically so that would need to be taken out for planning purposes right now let's go ahead and put in these roads and we lose in total one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight squares times two. So we lose 16 squares per road. Now this is clearly six, but this one could then become a 960 road. We'd need money for that, of course. We do need industrial, so I'm just going to go ahead and expand our industrial area a little bit here. I don't really have money to do too much experimentation currently. But we're going to have to think about this. Because this could be theoretically upgraded to a relatively large road. Which we actually already have access to six lane roads. Now I'm not going to actually do this. I'm just interested in whether this could even fit having six lane roads this close together. Yeah, we uh, don't have the money for a medical clinic. Or schools. I'd love to put some in, but that's not a thing right now. We can definitely make this more efficient. I think there's no doubt about that. So let's just go ahead and bring this road down 400. And then this one would come out 960. So this would be the length here. Of course, we don't have the money for that. And what we really need to do right now, actually, is expand our industrial more. Oh, get your snowshoes ready. It's snowing. 
Fantastic. So we definitely need to expand our industrial. Like that. Do we need water over here? Yes, we do. Which we can't afford to do. Just as soon as we can afford to. Same answer for that tweet. When are we going to build a school? Just as soon as we can afford to. Which we currently can't. Now we don't currently have any snowplow services either. Whoa, thunder snow? Thunder snow. That's exciting. Yep, we have no snowplow services. Okay, I'm just going to put up a block here. And we're going to put in a little bit more residential because we need to to be getting a little bit more population. We need to reach 750. That is the current top goal. How much is a snowplow depot? 5,000? Okay. And it should probably be located somewhere over this way. It'll have to be moved later on, of course. There's no way we have the money for it right now. Can we take out a loan? We can. Okay. Yeah, I know about the landfill site. We're going to spend this loan pretty much right away. And we're going to spend it on first an extension of this road. Actually, an extension of this road. And we're going to go ahead and put in a snow dump right here. It will get rid of some of our industrial area, but it also opens up a little bit of industrial area over here. It should be close to a wash. We're just going to continue our industrial section over this way, and we'll connect this up so that there's some transport between those two. There, that should be plenty. And we'll go ahead and put in an elementary school right there. Now, we don't have a medical clinic, and we're going to need one. We also don't have money for it. Well, is that our snowplow? Yes, it is. Hello, snowplow. Fantastic. It's clearing out that snow. Which is perfect. Gaze at a gazelle. Now we really, Lock really do need gamer. some additional residential. And we're going to need to make sure that this yet. is connected up. Come down this weekend to so I'm actually going to bulldoze that and connect Barbara. in like that. She'll hook you with her smile perfect. And hook you again with her More residential. Trees in the wild. And in the meantime, we're going to need to think about how I want this redesign of the meta block to work, right? It can definitely... Like, we're only going to need to have roads going one direction, right? But if we do that... Then we would potentially... Have a bit of an issue. Because if you're here, and you want to go here, then you have to go all the way up and to the edge of the meta block and over. Is that a problem? Maybe. Maybe that's a problem. Bring the whole family to at the old grain mill, old fashioned family restaurant. I'll have to think about that. I think I'm going to consider that has the best service and the best home and uh, come back to this in a few episodes because I'm going to be recording two episodes this session, this one and the next one. And then after that, I'll hopefully have a reasonable answer. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and extend this up here for now. This is all going to need to be redone in the future. So this is going to go over 960. Right there. 
Excellent. And then up 960, and then over to there. There we go. Now we're going to go ahead and take this turnaround out and extend this all the way over here, but we don't have the money. <laughs> Okay. This is less efficient right now. We're also out of money. That said, we're about to hit 750 population, which is great. Also, it's currently negative 12.2 Celsius. And we're probably going to want to put in some heating systems at some point. Although I don't think we have them unlocked until we have a population of 2,000. Nope. Okay. Sounds good. So we'll just go ahead and connect that right on in. And this in here, once we have one more tick of money. Perfect. And now we are a worthy village, which unlocks us districts, policies, a second loan, district specializations, services policies, emergency services, police department, for forestry and agriculture. Okay. Sounds good. So we have some money, and the first thing I'm going to put up is a medical clinic. The medical clinic, I think, will go in the commercial area, right about here. Should be good. And we are also going to want to connect these in for now, at least. At least until we have a redesign of the Metablock. Just so that we can move around a little bit more efficiently. Okay, so we're also going to need police and fire. And I think we'll put both of these in the commercial district as well, but we don't currently have enough. So I'm going to do some districting via Metablock. So we'll create a district and have it be essentially this here. And it'll just go kind of like this or thereabouts excellent we are out of power why are we out of power we are exceeding the power generation oh we are not exceeding the power generation lightning strike or the weather one or light, lightning strike or the snow one or the other took out our power line there we go We're also lacking in water down in this far end, and yeah, that's because I did not extend the water pipe. Fantastic. Okay. Excellent. So Lake Park over here is going to be our uh, first district, of course. And then we can set policies on a per district basis. Yeah, we're not going to worry about that for right now. But that's something that we're going to set up this time. I didn't really do too much with that previously. Mostly relegating districts to industry and campus. But we're going to work a little bit more heavily with districts this time. And one thing we're also going to do is we're going to make heavy use of the fishing industry over here. Which I don't know how to do just yet, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. Now we do need some residential, so we're going to just proceed up over here, and for now, I'm just going to build it straight over, like that. And I'll think about it... Yeah, I mean, it's definitely a lot more space efficient, right? But is it... Is it okay transit-wise? I think we'll just have to experiment with that. But this is a maximum distance that we can move the roads apart. Unless we wanted to go for bigger blocks. Hypothetically speaking. If we were to have a block out over here, and this is just temporary, I'm going to be demolishing this in a moment. This is purely experiment, purely experimentation here. 
So, something like this. And then it would be something like this up to about here. Yeah, that's super awkward. Not into that. I'll just have to think about the traffic ramifications of this. Like, we may have to go into a mass transit system substantially earlier if we go with a system like this. That said, it's not that far out of their way to get to a thoroughfare, right? So, like, these internal ones would be just streets like this. Whereas these ones here would be substantially larger. Of course, I still have the problem of do I actually want to elevate the highways or not? I don't know. I feel like, to some degree, having the pillars makes a lot of problems. But on the other hand, not doing it, I think, creates perhaps more problems. So that's definitely something to think about. Because if if we have to take these underground, then we don't get building squares, right? So, yeah, I think we're going to be forced to elevate the main thoroughfares. So that's going to be necessary. And when do we get highways with sound barriers? That's a two-way highway with a sound barrier. 4,000. Okay. So let's give this a try. We're going to trial it up over here. And granted, this is light residential, so our traffic is going to be lighter than it will be in the future. And the school is going to have to be relocated. We can just flip it over here. And that should be fine. In theory. And yeah, a lot of these buildings are going to have to be rebuilt because they were facing these side roads. We can even alternate them so that, like, this one is horizontal, this one is vertical, this one is horizontal, just for some visual interest. Might not be a terrible idea. Is it really that much more out of the way? I mean, would these roads still exist? Probably. Because we need something for our highways to on and off ramp from, right? Unless we want to just do it from these roads directly. But then they'd have to go to the highway and then get off up here if they wanted to go up over here. I think we're better off having this road here. But we eliminate all of these in here. Now we do want some uh, resident or rather some commercial here. So we'll just go ahead and take this straight on down to here. And we'll do something like this. And we'll just put in some commercial over here. That's probably enough, honestly. We'll have to rework this pipe system, obviously. We're going to do that anyway, though. We're going to rework the pipe system when we put in water pipe with heating pipes. Which, how much more does that cost to upkeep? Quite a lot more. Okay. Good to know. So yeah, I'm going to trial this with our meta blocks being a little bit more space, but a little less traffic efficient. And to that end, I'm actually going to take this out of here as well. And we'll replace that with commercial. That will cause some of our commercial buildings to be removed. We do still need to put in our police and fire. But that is something that we can do quite soon. Anyway, it is pretty much time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, I'm going to continue experimenting with this. 
You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time.